Hi, I'm Elaine Pauley, and I have worked in the field of pulsed electromagnetic frequency for over 10 years now, and I'm going to answer like some of the most asked questions about PEMF. So the first one is obviously, what is PEMF, and what does it do? So it's pulsed electromagnetic frequency, and it's a pulse of electromagnetic field that goes into the body and actually penetrates the cell wall. And what that does is it helps pull out inflammation, allows all of the chemicals and stuff in your body come out while putting water and other minerals into the cell. So you say, great, my cells, you know, they detox themselves. We're putting, we want to uptake water, electrolytes to help actually replenish the cells. But really, in its truest form, we're putting what is a naturally occurring field in our bodies and in our world back into our body in a therapeutic way. So the, the earth puts off an electromagnetic field, your cells actually communicate in electromagnetic fields, everything around us is really controlled by electromagnetic fields. And what we found is if we put the right electromagnetic fields for your specific body into, your, into yourself, your cells and your body will function better and use that energy the way that it needs to be. Now there are tons of studies and a lot of information about this, but I encourage you if you are not, if you don't know what PMF is, I can go down an entire scientific uh, like rabbit hole, or you can just try it. I encourage you to find someone who has a PMF machine near you, um, look them up online. There's several places, including the Association of PMF Professionals. Uh, that is an excellent resource to find a map. Um, MagnaWavePMF.com has a map. There's several different uh, distributors and manufacturers that have maps that show you where PMF equipment is near you. Call them, get a session, give it a try, because that's the best way to know uh, what it is and how it is, is to truly feel it. So it is safe, it's naturally occurring, and it's in our environment, and there's different types of PMF, but we'll get there. Okay, so how long do the benefits of PEMF last? So it really depends on the condition that you're treating. So some uh, humans and animals, the uh, PMF may last forever. I've had, you know, we've worked with animals that had a limp and they, the, the animal owner didn't know why. We went, we did a PMF session, the animal stopped limping, uh, felt better. We, we, we have no idea why the, P, the body took that energy, was able to pull out that inflammation and it was gone. Uh, maybe it was just a stretched muscle. We don't know. Uh, some people who may have very, very serious industries or more chronic conditions, it's, it's something that you need to do regularly, like maintenance. Like you can't work out once and be fit. You don't take one aspirin and you have no more headaches. So it's something that becomes part of your lifestyle. Um, and in the end, one of the things you want to focus on in your life, whether it's with PMF or anything, if you don't concentrate on wellness, you eventually will have to when you're, you have an illness. So wellness isn't important until you're sick. Um, and it's the most important thing. So one of the things I recognize, I, I recommend with anybody who's interested in PMF or using it, make it part of your wellness routine. Uh, get to do it weekly. Eventually, then maybe you could just do it monthly. Uh, the more often you do it and you get rid of your pain, then you could just do regular maintenance sessions like one, once a month. Now that's with high power PMF. There's low power PMF where it's a blanket or a uh, mat that you lay on and it's very low power, you cannot feel it. Those sessions need to be done regularly, uh, daily at most of the time to keep up and get the amount of energy the body needs to get optimal results. But with higher power PMF that you can feel, you can pretty much just do it, uh, get you know two to three times a week in the beginning, then down to once a week, then down to once a month. So it, it really varies on what type of PMF you're using. Another question, um, how many times a day can you use PMF? Again, that goes back to um, what type of PMF you're using. So again, if you're using low power, sometimes you can do it two or three times a day. Uh, but most, most PMF companies recommend that you just treat once at the most twice a day. Uh, we like to keep it around with high power PMF somewhere between uh, 10 to 30 minutes uh, for full body PMF treatment. Um, and that's on an animal. You could maybe do 45 minutes once a day and you are going to on like a horse or a larger animal. Um, and that's about all you need. You don't need to do it a lot. There are some people you, they think, oh, I'm going to do it, you know, all day long and get all these benefits. It doesn't work like that. It's just like exercise. If you work out for two hours, anything after that, you're not doing any more. 
okay? You get to a point where your body can only use the energy and recharge and heal itself from that two hours, and that's it. You're just, you're not technically hurting yourself, but you're not benefiting either. So think of PMF as the same thing. Do your 30 to 45 minutes with high power PMF. Some uh, low power companies recommend eight to 20 minutes a day, but you have to do it every day. Where with high power, you could do 20 to 30 minutes and you just do it once or twice a week. So it really it really depends on, on what you're using. Um, most PMF companies do have education on how much to use it. Uh, the next question that is also very popular about PMF is, can you overdo PMF? Um, does PMF hurt you? Uh, is PMF bad? First of all, PMF is not bad. You are, again, surrounded by magnetic fields. And actually counter, um, you know, there's some studies showing that if you are sensitive to 5G and Wi-Fi and all of those things, using proper P therapeutic PMF can actually be beneficial to negate some of those negative electromagnetic fields. So it's very similar, like if you're in salt water, okay, and it's, your skin's dry, that is a type of water, okay? If you go inside, you're, to, to fix using that type of water or having that type of water on your skin, you're gonna take a shower with, with, with regular water. And that's gonna take off all that salt, it's gonna help rehydrate your skin. Very similar if you're exposed to a lot of Wi-Fi, 5G, and it's just very, very, it's a lot, almost like salt water, using PMF is almost like that shower for your cells in your body. So um, it's beneficial in that way. And you, you can't really, overdo it like I've, I've explained uh, before. You can though get what's called a Hertzheimer reaction and most of the time people get this reaction after their first session. What that means is they're detoxing. So if you have a Hertzheimer reaction, there's a couple things that we know. One, that means the PMF is working, so that's good. Two, it means that you're detoxing and people spend lots of money to detox themselves. So we're pushing out all of the toxins. And three, it means that the next time your body should be less full of toxins and you shouldn't have that problem anymore. So as human beings, we take in toxins from everywhere. We breathe them in, we eat them, we drink them. Where with animals, they don't really go to McDonald's and drink Dr. Pepper. So their limit, they're, they don't have alcohol, they're not smoking. So they don't have as much toxin buildup. So they don't have as bad of a Hertzheimer reaction, but it still can happen in animals, but it more frequently happens in humans. And the best way for me to compare this is if you have a deep tissue massage and you have that, oh gosh, I'm sore afterwards. But as your muscles release and that detox ends, you will start feeling better than you felt before. So uh, no, you cannot overdo it in a way that is going to um, hurt you. At least we haven't found any studies that show that as of yet, but can you be in a little bit of pain and uncomfortable? Absolutely. Okay. Let's see, what can PEMF optimize? Um, so when we say optimize, I think there's significant factors on how what we're optimizing. If you are an athlete and you use high power PMF, it can optimize your recovery time. It can optimize the way that you function with taking in oxygen. Uh, we see it a lot with racehorses where they may be bleeders, they may struggle with their intake of oxygen. We treat them, we, use, we do sessions on them with the PMF and they're able to actually process that oxygen better before a race or after a race. Um, so it really, what it does is it optimizes your cellular function and your body. So if you, it optimizes you. I guess that's the best way to say it. If, you're, if you give your body the energy it needs and the tools it needs, it will heal faster, it will run faster, it will live longer. So the idea is, is that you are optimizing your cellular function. All right, let's keep going here. So many questions. Do, 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 do. Okay. What does PMF do to the brain? Well, the brain is an organ, so it's very similar to uh, any other organ in your body. So what PMF does, and there's, there's several different types of PMF, um, and some of them are branded by brand name. So maybe you don't know this, but you can actually take something like PMF, uh, take a signal that you're using for that PMF and brand it and trademark it and call it something else. Like transcranial magnetic stimulation is a form of PMF, but it's actually branded and used through certain uh, machines. So even though it is technically pulses of a magnetic field, 
um, just like PMF is. It's a specific type of frequency. Transcranial magnetic stimulation is used for depression. It's used for cancer. It's used for tons of different research. It's done by a doctor and it's very, very expensive, but it has shown very promising uh, testing and lots of really great studies have come out using transcranial med uh, magnetic stimulation. So what it does to the brain is what it does to every organ in the body. It actually stimulates blood flow. It helps the body function better. It helps oxygenate and helps functionality. So if you have a, a, any type of brain disorder or something going on, if your brain can function and heal better, um, that's beneficial. Correct. So it really doesn't discriminate discriminate on the cell, the type of cell, the type of organ, or where it is, or even the mammal. I mean, all mammals can benefit. A cell is a cell is a cell from the process of using pulse electromagnetic frequency correctly. Um, let's see. Can PMF cause anxiety? Um, I've never. I mean, it does. It does affect the glucose metabolism in the brain regions, so it can change the neural networks, but not necessarily cause anxiety. Um, as your brain is healing and as things are happening, um, it can help control your mood. I've seen people like get relaxed afterwards. I've seen people um, maybe be more excited or feel better afterwards. But in terms of like causing you to be anxious, there aren't really any studies that show that. But again, it does work with the brain chemistry. So it really depends on your brain. Um, is PMF anti-aging? Um, yes. I mean, pulse electromagnetic frequency and radio frequency have actually been shown in studies to help with aged skin. So what that means is it helps, you know, build the skin wall barrier back up. It helps with cellular function. It helps with collagen production. So yeah, can it help in terms of like physically on the outside anti-aging? Absolutely. Um, there are studies that have shown that. Can it help uh, with, you know, mental uh, anti-aging? There are types of PMF that have helped with people that have their studies with Alzheimer's. So I think we're kind of new in that, in that area. Personally, what I have seen, anecdotally, what I have seen is absolutely. I have seen people who are struggling to walk because they're aging, who are struggling to, um, you know, physically feel better, who have just kind of accepted the fact that this is how they're going to feel, this is how their animal is going to feel, this is how they're going to age. And what's happened is, is that as they start using PMF, they actually start physically feeling better, they roll back the clock, their brain function is better, uh, their sleep is better, and all of those things um, pulled together actually do affect your anti-aging. The bottom line is, quite frankly, with PMF, is that there isn't a reason not to try it. Um, if you are out there right now and you are second guessing whether this is you know, hocus pocus, or if this is something you should or should not do, I could not stress to you enough, as someone who was a big naysayer, you know, just 10 to 15 years ago, I thought that, you know, PMF was crazy. Um, where I am now, it is my sole function in career to spread the awareness of this product because it changes lives and I've seen it hundreds, if not thousands of times. So if you are interested in PMF, you want to go further, I really strongly um, go look at the company that you're buying from, make sure they're not multi-level marketing, find a legitimate company that actually manufactures in the country you're in or sells to the country you're in, make sure that they have safety testing, make sure that they openly talk to you about what type of product products they have, decide if high power, which means you could feel it is stronger, quicker, lasts a little bit longer is right for you, or low power, the, the slower um, you lay on the mat and um, you have to do it daily is right for you. And if someone tells you that one of those is dangerous or one of the other one is dangerous, that is a flat out lie. That is a sales tactic. Low power and high power PMF are beneficial. They have their, they have their, you know, their place in the marketplace, their place in the wellness world. There is not one that is dangerous. They wouldn't be sold and used all around the world in each form if they were dangerous. So please don't believe any of that. Um, there are several companies will say high power is dangerous and high power they say low power is dangerous or it doesn't work, whatever. All of that is not true. High power works, low power works. It's just figuring out what is best for you. What do you have time for? Is it every day? Is it, you know, what works best for you? So I encourage you to try multiple, pe multiple companies. Do do your due diligence, talk to other people who've purchased machines, and check out the AOPP or PEMFprofessionals.com. There's a lot of unbiased, fantastic information there. As someone who's just a believer in PMF, make sure you do your research and, you know, try it.